Welcome to our adventure series. This isn't your normal vlog. This isn't me, the bonehead, walking around with a GoPro trying to make something work. This is proper videography. This is Mint. Harrison is behind the camera. Meet Harrison. Nod, nod your head. <laughs> Harrison is part human, part goat, because he's the goat cameraman. So he's gonna take you and me along with this adventure. He's gonna film it all properly, which is different to all our normal vlogs. Um, so here we are, Marion Bay, the first one we're gonna do. Got some eggs going. We got in here late last night. We literally just rolled the swags out. Um, boat's ready to go. We've got heaps of gear in there. So we're thinking we'll head out wide for, uh, this morning for a bit of a fish. Um, and then we might be able to go to Wedge, have some lunch on the beach there, check all that out. I've never really been here before properly, so um, I'm so keen. But we'll take you along as always. That is elite. All the boats are still in their driveways. What are we missing here? What are we missing? Every single local's boat is still in their driveway. There is something Marion Bay knows that we don't. Not too bad. How are you? Sorry, mate. Adam. Adam, nice to meet you properly. Ned. Hey, boys, how are you? I'm the uh, young fella's father. Oh, I ask you. Eric. Nice to meet you, Eric. Yeah. How are you going? Not bad. Hey, mate. Ned, how are you? Nice to meet you. This ramp's not too bad, it's concrete. The fish, fish has been slow the last couple of days though. It's has it? Very Don't say that. Everyone could have told me that before we drove three and a half hours last night and <laughs> fucking slept the night. Stirred up. <laughs> yeah, we were on Suzanne Charles and all day for 10 minutes. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about heading that kind of direction, so. Oh, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> you too. Marion Bay is the friendliest place I've ever been in my life. Every single person at the boat ramp says g'day. But they all did say that the fishing's been shit, so I'm not sure Harrison why we drove. Three and a half hours, slept, slept overnight to literally get up here for all the locals to say they've been catching stuff all. But anyway, we'll be right. We will make it work. So, we are keeping it very, very simple here. 6,000 Saragossa, Shimano Therese rod, 80 pound leader with a Paternoster rig, with big squid baits. Could you get any more boring or any more old school than that? I don't think so, but it works. Shit. I'm going well. Jesus Christ, look at the sounder. Fuck. Something is about to happen. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Marion Bay. We were literally just heading to Wedge Island. We thought we'd pull up there, we'd go for a bit of a swim and try and get some whiting. And I was driving past this lump and I thought, hmm, that looks a little bit fishy. Oh, we're in 80 metres of water or about 80 metres of water, so it's not exactly a short run back up. Gives the pipes a bit of a workout, but this is very, very cool. Place reminds me of Kangaroo Island a little bit, like the natural ruggedness of all the coast and the little islands. I'm hoping this is a nanny, by the way. Fingers crossed, toes crossed. Uh, it's not a snapper. Because if it's a snapper, I'll be very, very sad. First trip, first fish of the Marion Bay trip. Oh, it's definitely pink. It is a cracking nanny. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my goodness me, that is, oh, as I get hooked, that is a cracking nanny. <laughs> How good is that? We were on our way to Wedge. We are going to do some whiting fishing. We are going to show you some of the coves and go for a bit of a swim. And we saw this lump. That is a cracking nanny. Woohoo! So, I'm just sending the boat up for another drift across that lump that we are on. And this is a drift anchor. So, for people who don't fish, they would be thinking, what is that? Absolutely no idea. Address. Hello! 
Hello? No, it is not that. It is a drift anchor. So it's like a parachute made out of canvas that goes out and collects all that water and creates drag in the water. And that's gonna stop us from drifting so quickly because there is a fair bit of wind. So as that brings up a little bit of tension here, you'll see, and it'll start holding all that water and that's creating all that drag. So it'll slow the drift down. And then I drop my baits down. Perfect, kind of. No bites yet. They're coming, no. No. Harrison! <laughs> I'm back! I went through a bit of a rough patch there for a second. But I'm back. Oh, look how much line I have on this reel. There is four metres of line. I've been hand feeding this out. We are drifting so quickly. <laughs> oh, far out. What is this? So this is what the adventure series is all about. We literally have no idea what we're doing out here. We just heard it's an amazing place. I've always wanted to come here and fish this kind of area. And we brought the trailer boat. We spoke to a few people. And the fishing is off tap. I don't know what this is though. It is pink. It is very pink. It's a big name. Harrison, 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 Harrison. Oh my God. What a cracking fish. That is a big nanny with its mouth open from Marion Bay. 81 meters of water, but because we're drifting pretty quick, I've been letting out heaps of line. So I'm literally pretty much down to the empty spool when we hook them. But I was getting these bites. These are good head shakes. I reckon, uh, could be another nanny or I'm, I don't want to say this. I really don't, but it could be a snapper. I don't want it to be a snapper at all. It's the last thing I want. Oh no, it is a snapper. Do I have an underwater camera under there or something? I've called every single fish for what it is and I was very, very nervous that this is gonna be what it was. Ah, oh, so this is why we've gotta move on and we can't keep fishing. Okay, let's see. Let me get that shit out of the way. How we go. Releasing this guy. He's home. I don't know if he'll make it. That's just the reality around Snapper. Like, let's not kid ourselves. Not many of them fucking do that well after we release them. But the thing is, like what we're doing right now is we got that one Snapper. We're gonna move on, we're gonna get straight out of here. We're not gonna kill anymore or hurt anymore, but it's a shame, he's a beautiful fish. It'd be very cool if the season was open, we'd take him. But, he'll grow into a beast. I feel a bit cruel about that. I hate catching snapper now, it sucks. Very, 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 very cool. This is really all we need. We've got two for lunch, one for me, one for Harrison. Hey, quiet. Um, and that's where Jalen behind us. So we might start heading that way, pull into a little cove or something. Bit of a cook up, bit of a swim. Harrison? Sounds like a plan. He's nodding. All right, let's do it. You! Um, we don't really have a plan, as always. We kind of just go with the flow. That's what Adventure Series is all about. But we just pulled into this little cove here near Wedge. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. But we're in five metres of water, there's weed everywhere. So I'm tipping there's going to be a few squid around. I'll throw the squid jig and I'll see if we can do a little squid catch and cook, mate. Ooh! Squid Leon! <laughs> this would be cool, we'll get a little squid in, maybe catch and cook. There's some whiting around too, there must be. I'm looking around these areas. Ooh! It's actually not a bad little squid. Not a bad little squid at all. As if anything here was going to be small in Marion Bay. 
They don't do things by halves. Harrison, squid Lee, <laughs> caught, and a beautiful little squid. How cool is that? There are his candles. They're like the longer tentacle that he actually reaches out and grabs his prey with. Check them out. Pretty cool. And there are his other tentacles there. Very, very, very nice. All right, we only need one, but we'll keep him because we'll do a bit of a catch and cook. You would be so nervous. I know you can hear me because I've got my microphone on. If I fell off with my microphone on. <laughs> we are in business. I'm back. I'm back after fixing the crisis. So lots of people might know this who often swim at beaches with boats and stuff, but a lot of people wouldn't. The way you actually anchor up is you put your anchor out the front and then reverse back into the beach. So you can see what I'm doing here. Just slowly in reverse letting my anchor rope out and that is going to keep us safe and keep us with good access to the beach. A little tip. Alright, let's clean this squid. Pull him straight out. Whoa! whoa. We'll keep his head. No! <laughs> we've got to do this up here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to lose our lunch. All right, this is going to be the freshest squid you've ever seen. We caught this like 30 minutes ago. I'm going to keep the tentacles. I've got the hood here. Uh, I'm going to show you how we kind of clean that up and get that ready to cook. All I've got in the boat is some salt and pepper and some olive oil. So I'm going to get a really hot pan and just do the freshest, most beautiful squid ever. All right, so I've taken that head out from the hood and we're going to keep these beautiful tentacles. All right, I'll show you how you take the wings and the skin off these hoods. Get your fingers in, right in the corner here, and just claw down. See how that kind of just peels away? Get your fingers in again on the other side and peel down. And what that's going to do is separate the wings and the skin from that beautiful flesh that we want. So we probably don't need those at the moment. I'll just pop them there. This is that hood. So when you go to a restaurant and you have calamari rings, this is exactly what it is. Only about two weeks less fresh. That pan is getting nice and hot. I think the key is with squid, you've either got to cook it really quickly, like short and quick, or really long and slow. So it's a bit hard with olive oil because it probably doesn't get as hot as other oils. But I'm really going to try and get that pan nice and hot. So when that squid goes on, it's literally boof and happening. 20 minutes ago we caught this and just pulled up at the beach. So good. So that's literally good to go. There's a little bit of ink, a little bit of gut still in there on some of them. But that's all flavour. Woo! Salt and pepper. Are you kidding? Plenty of that. A little bit of that. And that's all I'm going to do. Sizzling away beautifully. And these tentacles are the best bit on squid. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that is hot! Oh my goodness! That's like third degree burns! <laughs> it's hot! I'm in the firing line. You could do like lemon, lime, chilli, that kind of stuff would be really good if we were a bit more organised. But what I kind of love about this is it's just a squid that we just caught. And we're going to let it do its thing. Three, two, one. All right. Mmm. So good. So fresh. So tender. 
Beautiful. That is so good. So, so good. When it's fresh and tender like that, it is next, next, next level. Um, I'm going to polish the rest of this off, try and give some to Harrison, and then we're going to clean all this up. We might jump back in the boat and head towards Marion Bay. Check out the area, check out a little bit closer to Marion Bay too. But seriously, Wedge Island and here is spectacular. This has got to be one of the best places I've ever been in SA, I reckon. It's just magic. Magic. All right, I'm going to clean all this up. Let's go. So the plan was to kind of cruise back here and do some whiting fishing, but we've literally ended up just skipping every single cove as we come back along. It's honestly spectacular. So this is the national park behind us, and we're right, in the, uh, right at the bottom of York Peninsula here, and all the little coves and the beaches and stuff are so cool. But um, we're gonna keep punching towards Marion Bay. Um, we'll show you a little bit more of the town there. So, Marion Bay fishing today, how often do you get here and what do you love about it? Uh, I hardly get here about once or twice a year, but uh, yeah, it's just so scenic um, and the fishing's usually pretty good. There's so much to see and do down here. If you've got a small boat, just stay in the bay. If you've got something a bit bigger, the islands are it's spectacular, so they're really nice. It's not a far uh, trip, plenty of scenery along the coast, the cliffs, and oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Love it. And then the two parks. So there's plenty to do. What about Marion Bay, the town? What do you think, what do you love about here, or what? Are you... Yeah, it's awesome. Just lay back. You know, there's Emmys walking down the street. You go and get a pizza and a beer at the pub. It's just, it's an awesome spot. My name's Cookie. Only my mother calls me by my first name. <laughs> and um, I own Bottom End Fish and Ventures, based at Marion Bay here. Uh, I've been living and operating my charter out of here for uh, four and a half years now. It's a great little community down here. I think. It's the fishing down here is sensational. Normally there's uh, terrific tuna, beautiful Nanagai, whiting, harlequin fish, uh, Samson's, Kings, everything South Australia has to offer. I couldn't believe how small the joint is. It's only yeah. a general store, that's it. Like, yeah, talk to us um, a bit about that. The general store, well that was uh, renovated, I'd say 12, 18 months ago they finished that. And the expansion of it with the selection is, is huge. Okay, everyone raves about the Marion Bay General Store. And it's pretty much the only store here. So let's have a look. Oh, very nice, very nice. Fishing tackle and bait. Sorry. All your dairy products, fruit and veg. Do we want one of these for the car, Harrison? Or strawberries? No, we'll have the watermelon. Anything you need, last minute, it's here. Toys. Lollies. Oh, <laughs> little bit X-rated over here at this aisle. Cleaning products. Spatulas. Something to cut a watermelon open. Fantastic general store. Not sure what I was expecting, but just as good. Yeah, thank you for coming to Marion Bay Genesis. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure. See you next time. Yeah. Okay, it's 5.53 now and we're starting to head back to Adelaide after one of the greatest days of all time. I reckon the Marion Bay people are the friendliest people I have ever met. Would you agree with that, Harrison? We just spent the last hour just talking to all the locals about God knows what. We spent like 30 minutes in the general store just talking shit. Um, I absolutely loved today, it was brilliant. The fishing was great, the scenery was amazing, like spectacular. Wedge Island was absolutely sensational. So we definitely missed stuff. Let us know what we missed because we're coming back for part two, Marion Bay, um, with the adventure series. But that probably closes out our first video for the adventure series. I hope you like it, I hope you like the concept. We want to go and explore different places, places that I haven't been, places that you might not have been, um, and we want to show that in, in a slightly different light. So let us know where we should go, and we'll go there, we'll do it, um, and we can't wait to get you guys involved as well. All right, first video done, lots more to come. <laughs>